our ancestors revered the sun. They knew of its life-giving powers. In winter, the sun makes a low arc across the sky. Daylight is short, and in the mid-latitudes, the ground is cold and frozen. In summer, the sun rises early, sets later, and makes a high arc across the sky. The earth is reborn with light and life. Our ancestors recognized the sun's repeating performance. For some, recognizing and remembering the sun's seasonal cycles were matters of life. They created their own markers to commemorate the sun's life force. In southwest Ohio, two stone serpents lie in a floodplain, commemorating the rising positions of the sun at the summer and winter solstices. At Cahokia, near the modern-day St. Louis, a circle of poles may have been an American rendition of England's Stonehenge, the most famous summer solstice site. Across the American Southwest, the dry conditions have preserved the relics of an era of sky watching, celebration, and agriculture. In New Mexico's Chaco Canyon, the rising sun at Casa Rinconada may have shined through a northeast facing window and projected itself on a far wall. The upward movement of the sun may have caused the sun's image to move down the wall to illuminate a specially placed niche. The building's circular wall has been reconstructed, so this exciting commemoration may be a factor of rebuilding. Across Chaco's Valley is the beautiful town of Pueblo Bonito. The main axis of the structure likely has astronomical alignment. And one curious window in the corner of a room may have been used to note the solstice. Today we recognize the changing position of the sun is from the Earth's position in space. The Earth is tilted approximately 23 and a half degrees compared to an imaginary line that is perpendicular to the planet's orbital path. This slight but real angle makes the sun rise and set at different positions along the horizon each day. It changes the height of the sun at noon and the height of its arc across the sky. Each year, the sun's apparent crawl along the horizon at sunrise and sunset replicate many modern celebrations that mimic our ancestors' fascination with the sky.